more intimidating than tech and finance is tech and finance combined, and that's blockchain. Welcome to 10 Days of Blockchain. We tackle some pretty tough concepts and make them easy to understand, even if you haven't coded before. We'll explain what blockchain is, build a decentralized application, and deploy it to an Algorand network. Now, if that sounds like a lot, don't worry. The idea of blockchain can seem really unapproachable. But this series is meant to break it down. Before we get started, a huge thank you to Algorand and Reach for sponsoring this series. Algorand is a blockchain that's open source and decentralized. It's also the blockchain we'll be deploying our application to. Reach is the platform and programming language we'll be using to create our decentralized app. We'll talk more about these technologies later, but for now, let's talk blockchain. In order to understand blockchain, it's important to understand the concept of centralization and decentralization. Many of the systems we use today are centralized. When something is centralized, it means it's controlled by a single authority or managed in one place. For example, let's say you're working on an assignment on your computer. You own your computer and you only have the assignment stored on your computer. It's owned by you, a single authority, and it's managed in one place, your computer. When you upload this assignment to Google Drive, it now also resides on Google's computers. However, you still have the freedom to work on it wherever you'd like. You simply download it from Google Drive or Google's computers. Different versions of the assignment might be spread across different machines, but the saved version or the best version is saved on Google Drive. We can say we work on this assignment in a decentralized manner because we can download it and update it from anywhere. However, it is still centralized because the best current version is stored in one place. Now, instead of Google Drive having this best current saved version, what if every computer you worked on had the most recent copy of the best version? Every time a change was made or committed, it would be updated on every single machine in the network. Each computer would keep a ledger of each change and validate it. If this is the case, would you even need a Google Drive? The most popular application of decentralization is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency without a central bank or single authority. It can be sent from user to user without the need for intermediaries, like a bank. We won't be talking much about Bitcoin in this series, but here's the general idea. In order to send money, you have a Bitcoin wallet with an address and a passcode. When you send money, you send money to another Bitcoin address. Before the transaction goes through, it must be validated. With the way we exchange money today, transactions are validated by your bank, a single authority, because they know how much money is in your account. They have the only copy of the ledger. With Bitcoin, there's not just one computer that holds the ledger. In fact, every computer in the network keeps a copy of the ledger and validates each transaction. This means no one can freeze your account or hold your funds. It also means it's very difficult to take down or hack because there are thousands of computers keeping a copy of each transaction and they're constantly updating it. But enough about Bitcoin. Where does blockchain fit into this? Blockchain is the technology that Bitcoin is built on. It's a digital ledger of transactions that are duplicated and distributed across the entire network of systems on the blockchain. Each block contains a number of transactions, and each time a new transaction occurs, a record of that transaction is added to each system's ledger. As more blocks get added, it becomes more and more difficult to rewrite history and change the value of a block in the chain. Now, a transaction does not have to be a financial transaction. If you're familiar with data structures, a transaction is just like a change to your structure. Incrementing a counter, that can be a transaction. This means there are so many applications that can be built with blockchain technology. We call these decentralized applications or dApps because they do not have a central authority. Now, if a given blockchain only has two machines on the network, it's not really decentralized. You need to have enough machines on your blockchain in order for it to be truly decentralized. So how do we build decentralized applications? 
Well, it depends on the blockchain we want to put our application on. Many of these blockchains require you to write your application in different programming languages. This means it's hard to take one decentralized app and put it on a bunch of different blockchains. At least it takes around a year of training before most developers feel comfortable building smart contracts. This training would include learning a new low-level programming language like Teal or Solidity, developing a skill set that's only applicable to the blockchain protocol that the language supports, and understanding the limitations of each cryptographic protocol. That's where our sponsor Reach comes in. Reach gives you a way to create your app once and deploy it to multiple blockchains, including Algorand and Ethereum. In the next video, we'll set up our development environment with Reach and prepare to build decentralized applications. If you have any questions about blockchain development, please join me in the Reach Discord with the Days of Blockchain channel. See you next time and happy coding!